human figure is seven and a half heads tall. I don't think it works that way. There's no one rule that applies to every single person on Earth. I'd rather just look. Same. I know why people don't want to look, because it's hard. That is hard. It takes practice. Kat, there actually is one measurement that I do just with my eye. We have the center line, and then on the pelvis, there's a bone here, the symphysis pubis. This, generally speaking, is usually the midpoint. From the top of the head to the symphysis pubis, and the distance from the symphysis pubis to the feet are equal. I just eyeball it. I don't actually measure Figure drawing is all about proportion and comparing to other body parts. Like you can't just draw a leg. You have to see where that leg is compared to where the head is. On the back of the figure, you also have a midpoint and it is halfway up the crease of the backside. I just choose one point and then I compare everything to that point. You and I are drawing full figures with nothing prop. Why would that help with proportions? Proportion is all about referencing back to other things. We need the full human body. Draw well, one thing correctly, you need the other things in comparison. Do you see this crease? My elbow's too high. So based on where this crease is, I'm gonna move my elbow down. Where is the elbow compared to that crease? When I was drawing it up close, I thought, oh, this foot in comparison to the butt, I think this is like about right. But in fact, I didn't see that the foot was too small because I was too zoomed up looking at it. If you're really up close to your drawing, you're only seeing a piece of the figure. And when you get further back, you can see the whole thing. And then you start to see relationships. Draw the cast shadow or where the body touches some sort of object or the floor. Part of figure drawing is drawing the weight. I drew the chair that the man was sitting on. Look at how I compressed the torso. Do you see that? Yeah, it's but I didn't want to push. say. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Poses like this are a pain in the butt because all the limbs are like crisscrossing. I don't try to draw the limbs around each other. I draw through them. Here's the knee and I'm going to just draw the leg right through the other leg. A lot of the reason people have trouble with proportions, honestly, is because they don't want to fix stuff. Some people, they draw a foot and they're like, oh my God, this foot is so beautiful. I don't want to <laughs> erase it. What use is that beautiful foot if it's not in proportion with the rest of the body? A lot of it is not catching your proportional issues early and then not taking the initiative to fix it. It hurts now, but it saves you a lot more time down the road. Proportion stuff, it's constant tweaking. Let it go. I, you're not going to get it completely perfect. You're not a camera. I just took a step back. Do you see this pyramid shape? My arm is too horizontal. Well, we would assume that shoulders would be the most symmetrical part about a person's body. And then being able to see how the shoulders tilt, that's a really good indicator of how the body is turning. Sometimes I just even things out. I put the head right down the center or the same width, but it's not like that. His head is actually way further to the left. So you have to catch yourself. Clara, I think your legs are too big. Look at where the knee lines up with the shoulder. The arm is all the way out here or the knee should be further in. Maybe right, the so either make the legs smaller or the shoulders bigger. <laughs> I made the head far too small. And since it's digital, I'm just going to resize it. <laughs> now you're just rubbing it in my face. See what it was before and after. <laughs> Do you see that? 